Hi. Um, so let's say by doing the frequency uh, decomposition, you have separated your signal and noise into two different bands, okay? Frequency bands. So, oops. So this is your noise here, and this is your signal here. And what you want to do is you want to cut this noise off. You want to remove this noise while keeping the signal. Now, how is the system going to do this kind of a thing, right? So, of course, one of the things that we noted was this is at a different frequency. So this axis is omega. So the noise is at a different frequency compared to the signal. And we could use this property and build a circuit, let's say a circuit, Okay, which takes an input and which gives an output. So that's V out and that's V input. But the gain of this uh, system, of this filter, let's call it, is such that the gain is almost one or high in, in this frequency band, in this frequency band, while it is almost zero or very low in this frequency band, right? So if the gain is very high in this frequency band, what will happen to the signal? The signal amplitude would be almost the same or increased because of this filter. But if the, no, if the gain is very low in this frequency, uh, in, in this frequency part where the noise is, what is going to happen to the noise? The, the amplitude of the noise is going to go down uh, because of this filter. Okay? So another way to think about this is that let's say the gain of the filter is G. Okay, and this G is a function of omega. Okay, so V out is going to be equal to G times omega times V out. So depending on whatever frequency V in has, the gain would change and that would be multiplied to uh, to give you the V out, right? So this is not V out, but V in. So V out is equal to the gain times the input. And depending on the frequency of the input, uh, the gain is different. So let's say for low frequencies, for this part of the signal here, the gain is very high. So the signal is amplified by the filter. While for this part of your frequency spectrum, the gain is very low. So you can draw this, right? You can draw this and say this is omega and you have a curve like this, right? So let's say the signal, let's say your signal lies in this part of So your signal lies in this part of uh, the frequency spectrum and here the gain is quite high. So your signal is passed through and if your noise lies in this part of the, of the frequency band, then the noise is almost cut off. So that's the way we want to build frequency filters. Now there are different kinds of filters that you can build uh, depending on the shape of this uh, gain frequency curve that we can have. So some filters have a gain frequency characteristics which look like this. These filters are called uh, low pass filters. Okay, the reason these filters are called low pass filters 